Hands-only CPR is really easy to learn, but it would be wise for us to go through the steps one time through before we take a quick quiz. Whenever we're in a situation where we see somebody collapse to the ground, remember that the American Heart Association recommendations actually allows you to look at the person, collapse to the ground, no assessing for anything, call 911 immediately, and start continuous chest compressions deep and fast until help arrives. That's the American Heart Association guidelines. Now, here's for the Pro CPR twist. We think that you're capable of also checking for a couple other things, the things that I would want to check for before I started doing chest compressions on somebody I don't know or even someone I do know and love. First of all, we're going to check for scene safety to make sure that we're not going to be endangered by helping this individual, loved one or stranger. Check for electrical cords, uh, electric lines, gases, explosives, weapons, barking mad dogs, anything that could cause harm to us as the rescuer, we've got to make sure we're secure before we even enter into the scene. If the scene is safe, now we can proceed to the next step. We're going to go ahead and call out to the person and check for three things, consciousness, movement, and anything that looks like breathing normally. So I'm looking, I'm checking, the person's not conscious, they're not moving, and they're not breathing. I'm gonna call 911. I'm either gonna tell someone to go call 911 and return and let me know other help's on the way, or I'm gonna grab my cell phone right away and call 911 to get emergency medical services here as fast as possible. After a 911's been called, I'm gonna go right into deep, fast chest compressions continuously until help arrives. And that's about 100 a minute, so that's more than one a second. We don't even have to count because we're just going to be doing continuous chest compressions, fast, deep, and we're going to do it until emergency medical services and help arrives. More and more public access defibrillators are found in more and more places. So we thought it would be wise to include how to set up and use a life-saving AED. So let's begin. First of all, AEDs do make a dramatic difference in a cardiac arrest situations a lot of times. What we're doing is we're actually going to take a fibrillating heart, shock it so that the overdrive inside can actually start the heart beating normally again, circulating blood and oxygen to the brain, to the heart, and vital organs. That's the goal. The sooner we can get an AED on a cardiac arrest victim, the better their chance of survival. They're very easy to use, and once you start it, they tell you what to do. So, the first thing we're gonna do is take the pads out of the AED and turn the AED on. This is a training device only. No shock will be delivered. We're gonna take the shirt off the person and bear or and or bear Remove the chest. From person's chest. Attach pads firmly to person's chest as shown. We're gonna attach the pads, one underneath the left arm, one above the right breast. Plug in connector. Plug in the connector. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. Make sure no one touches the patient. Make sure there's no combustible gases and no standing water in order to use an AED. Charging. Everyone stand clear. As soon as the AED is ready. Everyone stand clear. Push the shock button. Shock delivered. Push the rescue button. Cycles of CPR. And then follow the prompts of doing CPR in order to help save a life. 